Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create a simple stylized 3D object. I am going to show you each and every step from modeling to texturing. So guys, here we are in Autodesk Maya. The first thing we need is a cube. I am going to reshape this. We have to create a V shape for our object. Now I'm selecting upper and lower face at the same time by pressing shift. Now we have to extrude these faces inwards. After that we will remove these inner faces. Now we will fill inside of this cube by using bridge tool. For that we have to select edges of both sides. Press shift, right mouse click and select bridge. Repeat the same process again. Select edges, press shift, right mouse click and bridge. Now we have to smooth its edges, for that I am going to select its side loops. Now we have to press Ctrl B to smooth these edges. I am increasing segments. Now I am going to repeat the same process for inner and outer edges. And again pressing Ctrl B. We have completed the base for this model. I am going to use cylinder for the next part. Increase its subdivision axis. Now we have to delete its edges side edges from both sides rotate it at the angle of 90 now we have to reshape this cylinder also I am scaling its both sides up and down I'm going to smooth its front side but then again I'm going to press Ctrl B. Now we have to create sides for this key. For that I'm going to use Q. I am resizing this cube to get the nice shape. I'm inserting few edge loops in this cube. Now I'm going to delete these middle faces. Readjusting its vertices. Now 
now we have to fill this division by again using bridge tool for that i'm going to edge mark selecting these edges pressing shift and right mouse click now we have to smooth this part for that i'm pressing ctrl b insert few edges so guys we now we need the same part on the other side also for that i'm going to use mirror tool selecting mirror tool from mesh menu we are going to mirror this on x axis and we are not going to merge its borders so guys as you can see now we have the similar faces on both sides now i'm going to merge all these objects together for that i'm going to use boolean operation first i'm going to select these objects now under the mesh menu you will find booleans i am using union Again, I am going to use the same process for remaining objects. Selecting these objects using Union. As you can see, we have combined these objects as one. We have completed the first part of this object. Now I am going to create second part, which is a string. For that, I'm going to use CV curve tool. We have to create this curve from the very center of our grid. I'm going to readjust its vertices. I'm going to rotate these from the side view. I'm isolating this curve. Now I'm taking a cylinder again, using its subdivision axis. And I'm going to delete its edges. Resizing it. Now we have to resize it. I'm going to duplicate this by pressing Shift D.
I'm deleting its faces. You only need these bottom faces. Now I'm going to combine these faces together. For that, you can find this combine operation under the mesh menu. Now select the faces of these cylinders along with the curve by pressing shift. Now we are going to use extrude operation. As you can see the faces are extruded from the starting to the end of this curve. We have to increase its division. Now I am going to use this twist attribute to give it a shape of rope or a string. If you don't find this here then you can use this icon and here you can find this attribute twist you can toggle this on and off from here now i am increasing its twist up to 2000 you can move its mesh Now guys I am going to create a holder to combine this rope with this key for that I am going to use another cylinder I am increasing its subdivision axis I am removing its edges from both sides And I'm going to rotate this on Z axis. I'm adding one edge loop at its center. I'm readjusting its vertices from both sides. In the end, I'm going to scale these middle vertices. And now I'm going to add more edge loops. For that, I have selected this middle edge loop. And selecting this, I'm going to press Ctrl B. Increasing its segments and fraction. Now I'm going to extrude these middle faces inwards. and removing them now I'm going to bridge these both sides now I'm going to create a division here for that I am going to select this edge loop which is at the center and I am going to remove this now I am going to use fill tool to fill these sides now I am going to use extrude operation on the side faces I'm going to deselect these inner faces. I'm 
I'm going to press Ctrl E to extrude them outwards. Now I'm smoothing these faces by pressing Ctrl B, increasing its segments. Now guys, I'm going to join the divisions that we have created. For that I'm using cylinder. Again, increasing its division axis. Rotating it on Z axis. I'm going to delete its edges. And faces up to the middle. I'm going to extrude its faces outwards selecting its all edges all side edges to make them smooth I'm rotating this and now I'm using mirror tool to create one more like this again I'm going to use mirror tool I'm going to use the same tool one more time And we are adjusting these middle faces. Now in the end I am going to create one more holder for this key. For that I am using Q. Selecting its side edges and pressing Ctrl B to add subdivisions. I'm using Ctrl B to smooth its edges. I'm going to place this at the center of this cube. Now I'm going to use Boolean operation to combine these both by using difference. So guys in the end I am going to add a ring
So guys, I hope this video was useful for you. Thank you.